Hey everyone, today we're going to be running the game Schedule 1 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac version of this game, there is only the Windows version. But we can actually play this game using a translation layer called Crossover. We're going to be installing Crossover 25, which is the latest at the time of recording. And it actually manages to run pretty well, despite the fact that this is a Windows only title. We are running it through three translation layers, including DirectX to Metal, x86-64 to ARM64, as well as Windows to Mac OS. So there's a lot going on here, and it does manage to run on a pretty playable frame rate, even on the base M4. So I'm actually playing this on the MacBook Air with only HGPU cores, pretty much the cheapest Mac laptop that you can buy at the time of recording and we're able to get pretty decent frame rates about 50, 60, 70 FPS. So very much playable, even though this is a pretty new and popular game. So in this video today, we're gonna to be showing you the full tutorial on how to get this to work. So we're gonna be installing Crossover 25. We're gonna be setting this game up with Steam. We're gonna be configuring some of the settings with DirectX 11 and Metal, and we're gonna be getting this game running as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So you've got an M1, M2, M3, or M4 Mac, then this is going to be the tutorial for you and we're going to start this uh, schedule one game and get you dealing drugs on the street as quickly as possible and play this game either single player or multiplayer multiplayer does work as well so even though we don't have a mac port it's pretty much runs flawlessly on windows through crossover 25 and we're going to start this tutorial now so first thing to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. Every purchase made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, you'll be taken to the store page here with the discount automatically applied. You can actually do a free trial if you wanted to, but if you did want to purchase this, I do recommend buying Crossover Plus. This isn't actually a subscription service. It's actually going to give you a permanent license for Crossover 25 if you buy it right now and any version of Crossover released in the next 12 months. But what you can do as well is click the Try Now button and make use of a completely free 14-day free trial. So just go ahead and enter your name and email address and then click to download the trial now. So here it's saying Crossover is now downloading and it's going to go into our Downloads folder. So then we're going to go ahead to Finder and then we're going to go to our Downloads folder and then we'll find the Crossover zip file, which we'll double click on. And then once that's extracted, we're going to drag and drop this into our Applications folder. And then within Applications, we're going to scroll down until we find Crossover and then we'll double click on the application here. So just double click on that. And it's saying here, Crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Let's open it up now. So now Crossover has opened up and we're now free to go ahead and download a multitude of Windows games and applications. What we're going to do now is to download Steam. So we're going to click the install button here, do a search for the word Steam and then click on the Steam icon here. And then we're going to go ahead and install it. And it's going to go ahead and create what's called the Steam bottle. And then it's going to put all of our Windows Steam files in one place. So if it asks to install fonts, just press yes and then just continue and allow this to complete. You can see it's running some stuff in the background and it's automatically agreeing to to all of the windows there. Here we're going to agree to the terms and conditions, press install, and we're going to install Visual C++ here as well, close. And then the Windows version of Steam is now loading up. So just press next here, next, and we're going to install Steam in the local directory and then click finish, and then it's going to run Steam. So here we can see that the Windows version of Steam is now updating. And now the Windows version of Steam's login window pops up and we can log in with our Steam account. I'm going to be logging in using my phone app and I can go ahead and scan the QR code on screen and then we're going to log into my existing Steam account. And now our Windows Steam library is loading up here and we can basically download and install a bunch of Windows games. Many of them will actually work through Crossover 25. So one tip as well is that if you want to run any advanced DirectX 11 or 12 games, then we want to change this graphic settings from Auto into D3D Metal. That's going to select this manually. And I'm going to change the synchronization from default to msync and that's going to get the best performance out of the majority of Windows games. So now we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up and what we're going to do is download Schedule 1. So we're going to be downloading the demo version. All you're going to do is do a search for this on the Steam Store and then we're going to go ahead and install this in its default location on the Mac within the Steam Bottle. So this is going to start the download process and Basically, once this is complete, then we're ready to play the game. So just be patient and wait for this game to fully download onto your computer. So you might receive a pop-up saying that this game is now fully ready to play. So we are playing the demo, but the full game also runs exactly the same way. We're just gonna press play now, and then that's gonna go ahead and work. So this is now loading up and I've got the Metal HUD open. So this gives us the frame rate information. If you want to find out how to do this, then I'll leave a link to my tutorial video on how to get that up and running in the description of this video. 
So you can just go ahead, we're going to go ahead and change some of the settings. So you can change the resolution, display mode, vSync, etc. But it's quite a basic game. There aren't that many settings to actually tweak. So I've skipped through some of the intro and now I am playing this game. So this is actually being run on the base M4 MacBook Air. So this only has eight GPU cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's pretty much the lowest end Mac that you can buy at the moment at the time of recording. And it manages to run pretty well at 1080p. So we're looking at about 60, 70 FPS at this beginning stage of the game. And uh, we're basically able to interact with this pretty much on a full basis without any particular bugs or problems. So if you're familiar with Schedule 1, the game itself is pretty expansive as a drug dealing simulator. And uh, the hype around it is pretty much real. You can go ahead and start dealing. You can buy equipment. You can improve your output and try and make as much money as possible. The game is still in development, so make sure to check this out. There's lots of development work going on behind the scenes. I'm sure that the game will improve over time as well. Anyway, I hope you found this little tutorial video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials on how to get other Windows titles running on the Mac. So make sure to check all of those out. I've got lots of them on my second channel, which is this one here. Plenty of other really excellent titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 are now playable on the Mac. And even though this is a relatively new title in terms of AAA gaming, it actually runs really well even on lower end Macs. And also lots of recent titles, for example, Split Fiction, the cooperative Windows game, manages to perform really well. We even have support for DualSense controllers and corresponding LED color lights. And there are plenty of other high-end titles that work really well. For example, The Last of Us, both part one and part two, now work on the Mac through Crossover 25, and also titles like Uncharted. So next we have a bunch of new releases. So we have games like Avowed working. So this is the new Obsidian RPG, which is a first-person kind of successor to something like Skyrim or The Outer Wilds, but in a fantasy magic world. And this is pretty much working out of the box running at 1080p on medium settings. And another recently released game is Lost Records, Bloom and Rage. This is made by Don't Nod Entertainment and it's kind of a successor to Life is Strange. So unfortunately, earlier titles in the series did have Mac ports, but this is Windows only, but seems to work pretty well through crossover. And another recently released title, Ninja Gaiden 2 Black, which is the latest Team Ninja release on Windows PC, is managing to run here at 1080p high quality at nearly 60 FPS. So anyway, if you want to find out any more about crossover games, games running on your Mac and other tutorials then make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link to these in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.